Iowa, and South Dakota State. And uh, here, I'll just show it. The play of the game. Uh, <laughs> you know that this was a Kurt Ferentz special. Like, if anybody has paid up, uh, has paid attention to Kirk Ferentz, they know that this was a masterpiece for Kirk Ferentz. Uh, I, I just, I cannot figure out how you can go through spring practice and then summer workouts and then fall camp and see that offense and think, huh, yeah, that'll work. Like, <laughs> like they, they beat. The South Dakota State obviously lost some talent last year. Uh, this is a good FCS program. They got a good defense. So let's not get it twisted. It's not like they were playing some also ran. Uh, they were playing a legitimate good defensive football team. But they also were playing a pretty good offensive team. I say I say good offense. I'm not saying explosive offense because this is a team that obviously loves to run the football, etc., uh, looking at this, yards per play. Like, Iowa won pretty much every stat here. Uh, 3.14 yards per play to uh, 2.11. 166 total yards for Iowa to only 120. Iowa had two turnovers in this game. <laughs> I mean, just uh, just ridiculous. South Dakota State had zero. Uh, third down percentage. I mean, look at this. Uh, Iowa had the better third down percentage at 23.53%. Just unbelievable stuff. And on top of that, uh, Iowa, six scoring opportunities. Six drives that were inside of their opponent's 40-yard line. They scored .5 points per scoring opportunity. Their field position average in this game was their own 38. And that's 20 yards better than what South Dakota's was. And they could do nothing. Like, I could not take my eyes off of this game. They, they win the game. With a field goal and two safeties. I, I don't remember the last time I saw a team get to seven points by doing that. right? But South Dakota State on the other side could not do anything. Uh, they had one scoring opportunity. The one time that they got it inside of the opponent's 40-yard line, they kicked a field goal. They got three points. Uh, Trey the Wave is South Dakota and North Dakota State moving to FBS, and I can't wait for the new playoffs format. Uh, I don't I don't know about South Dakota State. Um <laughs> Salt of the earth. They stole home twice. Um, I don't know that they're moving to FBS. I don't think North Dakota State necessarily wants to. I think they've had opportunities in the past. If they do it, they would have to move to the Mountain West, and I don't think it is worth it to them to do that right now from everything that I've been told. But we'll see. Like at some of these smaller schools, uh, Jacksonville State, et cetera, like, they decided it was worth it. Sam Houston State. Uh, they decided, yeah, like this This makes sense for us. We're going to move up to Conference USA. I think North Dakota State believes that they are better than that. And maybe they're not wrong. Maybe they're not wrong. James Madison jumped in and joined the Sun Belt, who, of course, is a really, really good Power 5, uh, G5 program, whatever you want to call it now, because I don't think there is a Power 5 anymore, but regardless. Um, yeah, uh, Double O'Neill jumped in. Um, everyone needs to wake up. Hey, I'm I'm awake. Uh, Trey the Wave, the ACC needs to wake up. <laughs> oh, man. Man, man, man. Uh, Big Ounce jumps in. My favorite FCS team, go Jacks. Uh, this is the year ISU will be victorious. Oh, we're talking Iowa State and Iowa. Uh, we're going to hit that on the BetUS show this week. Uh, so tune in. It's going to be <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun to talk about this. But, yes, Iowa, um, man. I just, the EPA in this game, like, I'm sure you can see it on your screen here. It just goes down and down and down and down. I I don't know what to say. I don't know how you go into a season thinking that this can be your offense. I mean, they're bad. Like, it's really, really bad. Look at, look at the total EPA here. Uh, 37.27. Negative 37.27 for South Dakota State. Negative 31.69 for Iowa against an FCS opponent. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.